All right, good evening, my friends. We may be on the cusp of a major regional war, my friends. Um, remember our country, favorite country, Niger in West Africa? Well, the deadline passed for the uh, coup leaders, the junta, to return the president to power. Not quite. It's uh, 11.52 p.m. It's eight more minutes. Uh, so Niger, just a reminder, they are a major exporter of gold, uranium, and petroleum products, So as well as sesame seeds and palm oil if you care uh, and let's just take a look at this. this is Wall Street Journal fuck your paywall deadline for Niger coup leaders to back down passes without intervention West African leaders have threatened the use of force to return Niger President Mohamed Bazoum to power now this is Wall Street Journal pretty well written article pretty middle of the road here so a deadline set by other West African countries for coup leaders in Niger to back down and liberate the nation's elected president passed on Sunday without regional militaries launching the armed intervention they had threatened. Eleven leaders from the economic community of West African states, also called ECOWAS, at an emergency summit last weekend, which we covered a couple days ago, said that they would consider, consider using force to return Nigerian president, all right, spelled it properly, President Mohamed Bazoum to power, but by Sunday evening, there were no signs of a mobilization of armed forces in Nigeria, Africa's most populous nation and home to the region's largest military. It's West Africa. I believe Egypt has a larger military, just because the United States props them up. And basically, when, when, when the United States sends you know, billions of foreign aid to a country, they're basically telling that country, hey, look... This is the military-industrial complex shit you're buying. And you're going to buy it, you're going to receive it, and you're going to like it. So Egypt probably has tons of tanks and fucking artillery they've never even fucking fired or even trained on, most likely. Keeps those uh, military-industrial complex well-funded, my friends. Uh, local media and politicians have criticized Nigerian uh, from Nigeria... President Bola Tinubu for supporting an intervention pointing to the military's other challenges containing the Islamic militants, bandits, and other security threats inside Nigeria. Why are you going to send the army to north when you can't even take care of the shit in our own, inside our own country now? Nigeria also, beautiful people, wonderful culture, can't judge. A senior commander from the ECOWAS countries said the region's militaries needed more time to prepare before they could enter Niger. Two of Niger's neighbors, Mali and Burkina Faso, whose leaders came to the power through coups, somewhat ironically, uh, or not ironically, have said they would help defend the junta against ECOWAS' forces. So Burkina Faso's here, Mali's here, and Nigeria, if they decided to mobilize, would kick the shit out of all of them. But you'll see there are some complications to this, so... For the moment, we need to build up strength of our units before taking part in such a military action. Sounds a bit like the pre prelude to the post the assassination of Franz Ferdinand. Armies mobilized. It took months. The commander said, the success of any military action depends on good preparation. I can see that logic. The bloc would continue to pressure the junta in Niamey, Niger's capital and largest city throughout the fi economic and financial sanctions it imposed last week and seek support for trade embargo and other international bodies such as the African Union, the commander said. ECOWAS nations have stopped trade with Niger, including the sale of electricity from Nigeria. That's why you gotta produce your own dipshits, use fossil fuel, use coal and natural gas-fired power plants, not this wind and solar bullshit. So, they, Niger depends on Nigeria to provide 75% of its electricity and have frozen assets at the regional central bank. Yes, there is a West African currency union, there's a West African central bank. Good luck dealing with that shit. In Miami, crowds gathered on Sunday afternoon in the city's biggest stadium to show support for the coup. Some of those gathered were waving Russian flags, while others carried placards praising Mali and Burkina Faso for their allegiance. Until the July 26 coup, Niger had worked closely with U.S. and Europe to fight Islamic insurgents who've killed thousands in Africa's Sahel region. And here's the part that pisses me off. The U.S. has spent $500 million arming Niger's military. That's $500 million in, quote, foreign aid, my friends. And for some stupid fucking reason has 1,100 troops stationed in the country. You wonder why we have $32 billion worth of debt? That's it right there who have trained local special forces and supported them on missions. So, most of Niger's 25 million people speak their language, Hausa, 
which is the prevailing language of Nigeria's north and the mother tongue of a large portion of Nigeria's army. This is the complications I was talking about earlier. An intervention into Nigeria of by Nigeria into its northern neighbor faces opposition within both countries. Tinubu, Nigeria's president, hails from the country's south and faces an uphill battle trying to rally opinion. It could be a very unpopular war, especially in his country's north, for any intervention into its culturally similar neighbor, Niger. So, for, well, it's technically, it, the deadline's passed, my friends. It is, uh, it should be 12.02 a.m., let's make sure. And I'm sure there's nothing, nothing's probably going to happen, most likely for weeks or months, but we'll see. We'll see. There are some. There is 12:02. Deadline has passed, my friends. Let the nations mobilize. So, OS Int Defender is a great follow on Twitter. Let's just do a quick refresh here. We're just flying blind here, by the way. He could have put out 30 tweets about Ukraine, <laughs> which would be most unfortunate. Uh, okay, so it's now to he, this dude's right. This dude's right alongside me here. Now the country has expired. The ultimatum has expired. There may, there will likely be an official statement made by ECOWAS in the next few minutes, two hours. Uh, the organization will release a statement by the end of the day. Okay, that's good. Uh, they will, they will most likely move their ultimatum deadline to Sunday, August 13th. That's next Sunday, to align with the expiration of the ultimatum given by the African Union, which kind of supersedes the West African kind of weird. Confederacy they have going on, but it would also possibly contain additional forces from African Union members. This is this could get this could get ugly, my friends, ugly. So that's um, that's why I'm warning you. Uh, none of these countries have nukes, so don't worry about that. I mean, South Africa maybe. I don't think so. I think Israel is the closest country near there that has nuclear weapons. Uh, so here we go. Hey, they featured the same article I found. And then this is... The, so the junta declared closed airspace around Niger. So uh, these flights are... These are interesting. I, I saw these earlier. So these flights... That's from Lagos in uh, Nigeria. And they're routing around Nigeria. So it's a lot more fuel... So it looks like they're going to actually honor the... Yeah, there's another uh, uh, flight that's going to avoid Niger's airspace. Because th the junta threatened uh, drastic action over planes that dared fly over Niger's airspace. What does that mean? I don't know. I mean, you can make a joke about a spear, but, you know, let's not do that. Wait, I just did. Sorry. Uh, statement, ECOWAS has completed its preparations for an invasion of Niger with at least two members of the organization beginning the mobilization of armed forces towards the border. Hmm, curious indeed. So yeah, watch this space. Oh, here's another flight that, uh, uh, no, this is a, a U.S. Air Force C-17 en route to Niamey, uh, with diplomatic clearance for Algeria. Curious. So that's interesting why the United States is sending, uh, why doesn't Algeria sp spend the money to do that shit? Um, okay, so I don't read French, but I can read Spanish, so they're close. I can read Spanish and Italian. For some reason, Portuguese just goes way over my head. Uh, commendation of the temporary coup in Niger. Uh, I don't know what that word is, but the decisions... Uh, to re return to constitutional order and the president, the democratically elected president, Mohammed Bazoum. That's the gist of the sentence. Don't quote me. Oh, here's a Turkish Airlines uh, Airbus A330 that went from Istanbul to Yandre in Cameroon. It is currently inside Niger's airspace. So maybe they didn't get the memo and yeah, the airspace had been closed following the coup d'etat, but then had been reopened for a number of friendly countries a few days later. Maybe Turkey is one of those friendly countries, but maybe Algeria is not. So, or maybe Cameroon is one of them, I don't know. So, that's that. Just watch this space. It should be interesting. Hopefully, nothing major will happen, but I mean, you saw war games. You saw how many scenarios started a nuclear exchange. 
is the, I'm sure the West African Gambit or some shit is in that list. <laughs> oh, God. I'm a nerd. I'm sorry. So, that's it. That's all we're going to do. Thanks for watching. If you like content, hit subscribe, hit the like button, notification bell. Uh, pick up some non-perishable food and have a good day and have a good night and God bless.